Essentially, life on Earth has developed around the availability of water. This is no alternative to water. There is a fundamental element, a basic element that is required to sustain human life. As a result of that, there is a need in every corner of the Earth to be able to have water that is suitable for, for life, for consumption, for human beings to drink without fear of disease. Beside the human activities, uh, there are uh, obviously environmental and, uh, and climate uh, issues that are putting a stress on the water supply. Australia is a very different case to most countries globally. Being the world's largest island, we have a very sparsely populated country. The long and the short of a lot of that means that water is being provided by nature in areas where it's not necessarily needed most. So what that means for Australia in particular, to my mind, is that wherever you've got it, you have to use it and reuse it. We are more accepting to the use of recycled water, and that is community by community, but the, the driver for that, I think, is just information and the discussion about recycled water. And we are producing you know, recycled water that is equal to a drinking water standard. That gives them the confidence to be able to use it in a variety of ways that they might not have in the past. We have water treatment equipments that can uh, produce drinking water, potable water for any kind of sources. Any kind of sources I'm talking about when a water stream is contaminated with uh, biological radioactive uh, or chemical uh, weapon contaminants, we can treat those waters. Colourless, odourless, it'll be class A plus water. Uh, but the challenge in Australia is that they'll be able to use it for things like watering the garden, uh, even something as simple as washing the car, which over the last five or 10 years of drought have been cut off as um, activities you're allowed to do with potable water. And I think the, the more that you uh, talk about recycled water, you talk about the the implementation of recycled water and, and the likes, that uh, people get to feel more comfortable about that. Uh, we haven't had the push to do it, but I think that now uh, that it's been seen as a scarce resource, we're actually finding our own resource enough to investigate the opportunities. It is very important to educate the public in order to arrive to the same conclusion as scientists do, that the water should be judged by its quality and not by its origin. I think that it's a really good opportunity for us, or for society, to, to reduce the amount of really high quality water that's being used for applications that don't need that sort of quality of water. Another factor that influences is the climate change that we have seen and the extremities of weather, the uh, drought that has occurred here, but there are other arid regions uh, globally that experiences uh, a shortage of water. It really does take catastrophes, I suppose, to really bring it to people's issues, and they can be floods or droughts or polluted beaches or a whole lot of what I call catastrophes, I suppose, that really spurs action. It's uh, three minutes without air, three days without water, and three weeks without food. So without water, you don't have life.